What is going on here, and is this any way to pick a nominee? Well, I don't think so, but uh, it's, it is the way we're picking this one, and it looks like Bernie Sanders is hard to beat right now. I'm with Carville all the way in terms of the dangers of what lurks, what lies ahead in November. I'm very much aware of them. They're sitting on so much oppo research on Bernie, what he said in the past about world affairs, how far left he is. I'm not sure how far left he is, but they're going to make the most of that in terms of world politics. They're going to kill him. But uh, I think it's a little late to stop them. And I think that's the problem. By the way, if you look at the pattern, it's dynamic. Uh, Bernie won the popular vote in Iowa. He won, he won it again in New Hampshire. It looks like he's going to win it here when they finally get a vote. Bernie's been winning consistently, and I think it's mathematically understandable. Every time we poll, every time Steve and everybody polls, two-thirds of the Democratic vote, two-thirds of people who call themselves Democrats, are either liberal or very liberal. All Bernie ever had to do, and he's done it beautifully, is get a majority of that, and he's up to the mid-30s. If you get half of 67, you're into the mid-30s, and that's where he's gotten it a little better. Biden, his only prayer was to consolidate the third of the vote that's moderate and conservative. And he got nowhere near clearing that field. Nowhere near. That's put up four ways now. And so with new people coming in, Deval Patrick came in, he didn't make it. Uh, Bloomberg is in, he's probably going to survive a bit longer because of his money. But that field wasn't cleared. The only way Biden could win in that one third of the vote that's either moderate or conservative is to sweep it. He got nowhere near. Bernie, on the other hand, did his job. He got more than a majority, more than a majority of that 67%. That is the name of the game. Game. It is pretty much over unless that changes. I was reading last night, Brian, I know you're a history guy too. I'm reading last night about the fall of France in the summer of 1940. And the general, Renault calls up Churchill and says, it's over. And Churchill said, how can it be? you got the greatest army in Europe. How can it be over? He said, it's over. So I had that suppressed feeling. I can't be as wild as Carville, but he is damn smart. And I think he's damn right on this one. Joy.